Good morning, everyone. Today is the hair show. I'm about to get ready to get up and figure out what I'm going to wear. I don't know exactly. I need to do something to this head. So the next time you guys see me, I will be getting ready to head down. So ah, we are headed downtown to Warner, as you see. I did a, I guess a soft glam look. I'm really excited. Got my curly hair in today because it is so hot outside and summer is driving like a maniac. Say something on camera. What up camera? But <laughs> I'm gonna uh, hit you guys up when we make it back. When we make it there, I guess. So until then, I'm cutting off. And we have made it all the way here. So exciting. This is day one. About to grab some sushi in Midtown or whatever. And sushi is really good. If you guys are ever in Atlanta, come to Rusan's and get y'all some sushi. So we here. Say something. Hello, my I have no idea what I want. Okay, now we are leaving Rusan's, trying to figure out what the next move is. I think I'm just really sleepy now. I think we're about to head back to the house so I can pour me up a glass of wine, wash this face, and get ready for tomorrow because it is a three-day expo. I didn't realize that when I bought my ticket. I thought it was for one day. But so we get to go Sunday and Monday, and I'm really excited for tomorrow because 
Uh, Ming Lee is supposed to be hosting the fantasy hair show. And today they had the hair show, but um, for like natural uh, commercial hairstyles. And it was sponsored by um, I Wear Glam and Kenya Moore hosted it. And it was really a nice event. So I'm looking forward to shooting part two, you guys. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, August 16th. It's the second day of Bronner Brothers Hair Show. Yesterday was so much fun. I got a lot of samples. And then after the show ends on Monday, the 17th, it's the 15th to the 17th. So after the 17th, I'm going to let my sample bag fill up. And I'm going to do a what all sample review that I got. So I'm excited about that. Yesterday was crazy, like it was a ton of people. I took a picture with Dwight, he was super sweet. I saw Shakana, I saw April Diva Styles, just like a lot of the hair greats or whatever. I saw Kenya Moore, I saw Portia from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, like I was excited, like everybody was in the building, but now it's day two. Um, I'm just getting up, I'm just about to figure out what I'm going to wear. Yesterday I just did a maxi and a um, belt or whatever because I wanted to be cute but casual at the same time like I didn't know really what to wear but um it's a lot of walking and it's like an expose so you're going to be on your feet pretty much all day so you don't really want to wear heels unless that's your thing but I know I can walk in heels but like I'm not about to walk in heels for like six hours like that's crazy as hell <laughs> so I think today um I'm going to do something a little casual I guess, like, let me show you guys. I think I'm going to wear this kimono and these high-waisted shorts and tank, something real chill. Am I the only one, when you're matching an outfit, you have to put your bag there, too, because you don't know what purse you're going to carry? Like, seriously. But just this, nothing too fancy, simple. So... There we go. So the next time I'm on camera, I will be looking like something and we will be on the way downtown. So I'll see you guys later. So this is the finished look. I guess I'm going for a hippie chic type of look. I got all my plum uh, wine by Ruby Kisses. I love this lip. It's my favorite purple lip. And I put like a little twist in my curly hair today. I don't know. I'm just feeling real hippie-ish. Then I did the, can you guys see my outfit? The kimono with the shorts or whatever. Just keeping it casual. So uh, just checking in and then I'll be back on when we hit downtown. So we're on the way to Bronner. We're downtown. This is the outfit I went with today. Something cute and comfy. So yep, yeah, I'll be back when we get in the building. Deb from Love and Hip Hop. She's super nice. About to head back downstairs. Tons and tons of people. Now we about to get ready to make it down to the main floor. So, as you can see, it's still packed. Body paint. So cool. So cool. So we about to get ready to go back in here. It's packed as hell. So, huh, I'm ready. For the hair, and it takes me 45 minutes to comb through his hair. Not anymore.
So day two was a success. I got to meet Ming Lee. Y'all know I love her. Also pulling for Detroit as well. Picking it. Got to figure out the next move. I'ma just vlog and just let y'all know what I'm up to. Need to go get something to eat. I don't want Roussans again. Like I love sushi and their sushi is bomb because it's only a dollar. Like they have dollar rolls, three rolls of sushi for one dollar. You cannot beat that with a stick as me true beat with that. Like seriously. But all in all, I, I'm having fun at Bronner. You know, tomorrow's the last day of uh, Bronner. So I don't know, hopefully I'll get some more samples so I can do my sample haul. I wanted to buy this closure from there. They had this closure that was only $40. So I said I was gonna grab it, but I don't know yet. I'm still like trying to figure it out. Oh my God, I hate when I'm like, <laughs> I hate when I'm vlogging and then people are like staring at the camera like, I'm like, just come over here, you can get in it. Like it's live feed. I'm not stingy with the camera at all you guys everybody was feeling my hair today i guess because i did like a like a twist with it everybody was like oh my gosh do you do hair i love your hair and i'm like oh my goodness especially like some grapes girl uh april diva styles says she likes my hair if y'all don't know her y'all need to follow her on instagram at april diva styles she is the truth she sells hair and stuff out of baltimore and like it was really dope like when she told me that and she said she liked my makeup makeup by eyes she does Ming Lee's makeup she said she like my lip color you know and I got this for the beauty supply for like $2.99 and she's like a uber duper professional so anytime a professional be a hair or makeup person tell me they like something like my day is made because you guys know I just do this for myself like I want to be a daggone kindergarten teacher I don't I'm not really interested in the hair and makeup profession as far as like doing it for money, like I just like to do this for fun. So I'm having a ball out here, like, but y'all knew that already. So we're back home, unchanged, put on some comfortable clothes. We were gonna go get something to eat, but grandma, say hey to the people, Hello, grandma. People. Hi, grandma decided to cook Sunday dinner. So we were on the way. So I can't wait to eat and yeah, that's pretty much it. I had a good time today at the show. Ran into a lot of cool people and took a lot of good pictures. So, can't wait to see what we're doing for part three. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday, August 17th. Today is the last and final day of Bronner Brothers Hair Show. I've been having so much fun. We're up early today because... Uh, we had some errands and things to run on this Monday, so we're like, we might as well go early and get a few for it. Because we never went in the morning, we always go in the afternoon. So, we about to head downtown. I'm already dressed and ready. Get this little coral shirt and green short number. Just something a little cute and simple. And I'll be back when we hit it downtown. Day three, we out here. Still a pretty decent crowd. We're about to get ready to head downstairs to the exhibit. Hopefully today we might be able to catch a class. So I'll be down. interesting classes I learned a lot of great new techniques I can't wait to try I think I am going to try when I make this uh, new wig with this closure that I just got so we got to go walk around and just soak up this last day I'm having a pretty good time got some samples and I cannot wait to do the sample review for you guys like my bag is full of samples like I got some pretty good stuff so I'll be back shortly Color bundles. Pamper 
is so important because it helps to take away any type of fungal infections that are maybe at the scalp. You want to be sure that you have that in your hospital, especially with the big winter months coming up. With the winter months coming up. Warner Brothers was a huge success. We had a great time. Day three is over. We got tons of samples. So we're about to get ready to hang. We're about to get ready to go do a sample haul. And I'll see you guys later. It's been real Warner Brothers. Instagram name, baby.